Today, we will go through how to create data collection item. Then we will create threshold for this data collection item. We will create event template that will be used in this threshold. And we will add this event template to the event processing policy. I decided to use for these purposes example with the back backup files. So in my case, I have two backup files that are in my home directory, desktop test and test two. So let's start with this backup file. I want to monitor that it exists and it should contain in its name today's date. So let's start. First, we should go to the data collection of my node and create here new data collection item. Data collection item source will be agent as uh, this metric is provided by the agent and I will use metric file.count. So we can check what parameters this metric requires in the documentation in appendix section list of supported metrics and usually I just search here for this metric I want to find. We can see that this metric returns us number of the files in this directory. It's exactly what I want. I want to have this file existing in the folder. So parameters that we have path, it's the only monitoring. Then we have pattern. Then we have if the count should go recursively under each folder, minimal file size filter and file age filter. In my case, I will use only first four parameters because I don't need age as my age is imprinted in the file name. I will uh, set it in the pattern. So let's start with file path. Then we will have pattern. In my case, pattern is this one. Let's copy it. But I can't use it directly as it's uh, current date. So the date is uh, rolling every day. So in this case, I will use this print time macroses. And I'm already familiar with them. So I know that for the day I should use this one for the month I should use this one and from the year I should use the full one so this is uh, only last two numbers but I have the full year so I should use this macros so let's change them D and year let's adjust display name Okay, the CI is created. Let's force pull it. Here you can see that the system counted one file. In my case, I haven't yet said that file should not be empty. So if we will change the content of this file to empty, you can see zero bytes. It will be still counted as one. Now I will adjust parameters will say that we don't need recursion, but file size should be at least one. In my case, it's enough. Uh, you might set a higher number. So I just want to know that file is not empty. So let's force pull and we see that now it's zero. File exists, but it's empty and we're not counting empty files. And the same will be if we will delete it. Let's force pull it. And you see it's still zero. Now I want to have a threshold for it. It's good to collect it, but it's even better to get notifications. So here we have data collection configuration. We go to the thresholds and we add new threshold. We say that last polled value one. So one last polled value is equals to zero. Then we will generate event sys threshold reach and we will generate the activation event sys threshold rearmed. Now I will get this file back. So we can see that there is one file. Now we want 
delete it. We can see that there is no files. We can see the threshold is reached, event is generated, and here is event message. We also can see that alarm was generated, but alarm message is pretty general. The threshold reached for data collection item with this description, uh, some parameters, actual value, expected value, and mm, things like that. I would prefer to have decent message that will say to me that uh, backup is missing, not just threshold is reached. In this case, I need to change uh, event template because this message uh, for the alarm was taken from the event template. So we should go to the configuration, to the event templates. Here, if we check where is this threshold reached, here we have this default event that I used. It's configuration of this event. And I know that my new event will have exactly the same parameters because it's generated from the same place as the sys threshold reach event. So I will copy description part and I will create new event template. Let's put the description. Uh, event name will be backup, backup missing. I will say that it's pretty major problem. And the message will be backup is missing from, and here we will set the path. Currently, we were, we are setting uh, the exact path as we configured in DCI. I will later show how to adjust it, not to create event template for each DCI. But currently, we're more interested in the next step. So, in my case, it's uh, home desktop test. Let's make it like this. And okay. So, here we can see our event template. Next, we should change the threshold to use this event template. Here we have backup missing. Okay, we changed it. We will leave this event for the activation the same. Okay, so event changed, but the message have not changed because uh, we should regenerate it event, this event. So let's create file to clear threshold. It's cleared. Now let's delete it. Um, refresh. Okay, we have deleted it. Now let's force pull. So now you can see that event is generated and the message is backup is missing from this folder. That's good. But now we don't have the alarm. We have created event template but we have not added this event template in event processing policies. So I want this event to act exactly the same as the usual threshold reached event. So this means I will go to the configuration to event processing policy. Here I will search for threshold. Uh, here we have this is threshold reached event and uh, it says that generate alarm on threshold violation and it will just generate alarm with this key. This rule came to my system with default rules. So I want to add to this list, to this filtering list, backup missing event. Okay. Now, this means that when we are going through this event processing policy, we are checking the filter. When this backup missing event will be generated, we will check this filter. We will say, OK, uh, this event matches our filter and we will generate action. We will generate alarm. Please remember to save it before you check anything, because uh, while it's not saved, it's not applied to the server. Uh, now, 
we can test if the alarms are generated. So let's get our file back. We will force poll. We see that uh, file count is one. Now we can delete it. And now we can force poll it again. And here we have the cup missing. And you see that alarm was generated. We can see it here. It has correct message. The, as we left the same deactivation event, once we will restore the file, alarm also will be automatically terminated in the same way it is done with threshold reached. So let's force pull and we see that there is no more alarm about that the backup is missing. Now the next step, we have two files, so let's duplicate this uh, data collection item. I want to monitor the second file as well. In my case, I don't want to create another event template because uh, I need exactly the same message, except that I want to have the path to, the path to be different. So I can check in event templates the parameters that we have. I can use DCI name, DCI description, and so on and so on, but we have this instance option. And usually when you have the same uh, DCI, but you have different instances that you monitor, you set the instance. Let's set it. Let's exit. Uh, I will use this full path for the instance. On the threshold tab, we have instance name. I will set instance name for this DCI to test2. I will set for this one to test. Okay, now in event template, in the place where we used the text, the exact name, now we can use macro instance. Okay. Now let's test it. So let's delete backup file from the test2 folder. Here we have test2 folder. We will delete it. And let's force pull. We see that event is generated and message now contains backup is missing from and the instance that I've set here and alarm contains exactly the same. Now, if we will delete this one and we'll do force poll, now it's missing, but from the test, not from the test two, and we have second alarm with a different message. So now let's summarize. We have created two DCIs that monitor how many files, or in my case, that the exact file exists. And uh, we have set the threshold that monitors that the number of files is, like if it's equal to zero, then the threshold is reached and we're generating event. We have created the event template for the backup is missing. So when the events are generated, we can check them in the event log. Uh, so here you can see our uh, events were generated, for example, the cup missing. And also uh, here you can see all the parameters also for this exactly generated event, because like in the template, we have some template parameters, but here we can check the real values of them. So we have created this backup missing in event template here. Then we check that they are generated properly. And uh, we have created in event processing policy, we have added this event template to existing rule that will just generate alarm 
and we have another rule that will just terminate this alarm on the rearmed. That's why we used new event template to have the correct message to generate alarm and we use the same default event to rearm it. So that's all. Thank you and see you in the next video.